talk about what a day. It's raining. I need to get to my shoot. I am soaked. And thank goodness I got a towel in the car. Just over the years. But I would say the first time, I'm just building that self confidence in myself. It's the black strappy heel. This is the crew, June. She's the one Hello. that made me cry Sorry. during an interview. I've never done that before, so that's the first. That's the first. I have either. I did? Which one? You did. Okay, I've cried a few times. I'm a cry baby. We'll wait for the cover. September! Whenever you hit the supermarket, three things you just hit immediately. Your veggies, your proteins, and your fruits. Avoid the snack area at all costs. a bit of motivation for any of you who think that you can't make the time to prep. She says her daughter, Moi, is such a flip flap in making her meal preps. So most likely, you out there who is more structured, you would probably be able to do it better than me if I'm such a flip flap. You flip flap all the way. So proud. After two days rest, finally getting my workout in, every single time, always starting off with dynamic stretches. I'm currently on phase 7 for my online training program with Ben from ASP and it's all about fat loss. I've only got 9 weeks left. This routine is fun because it challenges me. I am required to do a compound movement for at least 20 to 25 minutes and every time I'm supposed to beat my own number of sets. Like last week I did 5 sets, this week I managed to do 6 sets and so on and so forth. My workouts are usually legs day paired with abs. There's another reason why I choose gyms that are pretty much empty because the program that I do requires me to go from one machine to the next immediately because it's like a circuit and sometimes when I'm at really busy gyms or gyms when the, it's peak time it's very annoying because then you have to share I don't mind sharing machines but the problem is sometimes some people who go to the gym are not in the right mindset to share machines with you for example just now there was this uncle there and he honestly looked very pissed with me when I asked him hi are you done can I go for one set and he was like for a minute I thought I was actually being rude but now I think about it he could have just said oh I've got two more sets or three sets instead no this was his face I was willing to share it's not a problem in fact when I was done with mine I told him uncle you can go ahead and have it back but he was plugged in with his earphones and showing a temper. He went off and I was like, yes, thank you. I don't have to see your face. Because honestly, after that, I really felt such a terrible air of tension. Yeah, you know what? I just, I'll just apologize and I forgive your behavior. One thing I realized I haven't done much of is posing before my workouts. Posing in itself is already a warm up. On the one hand, I don't want to pose before I work out because I want to see everything pop and I usually only get that after I'm done with my workout. So here I am doing another compound movement. This is becoming one of my favorite exercises for the posterior chain, which is your entire spine. I remember a time when I didn't care much for doing back workouts because heck, you can't see it. Such a wrong mindset. Prone reverse fly is another favorite of mine to build the delts, which is at your shoulder area. Can you take a look at those lines? I'm so happy at the progress. A tip I want to give for anybody who does back workouts, I used to have the problem where my traps, which are the muscles located at the base of the neck would rise up a lot. That problem happens when you're carrying weights which are too heavy for you which will cause other muscles to help out and lift in the weight. Plus you're not mindful of your mind muscle connection. So you always got to keep in mind your traps you need to bring it down and focus purely on your back muscle. Because ladies you don't want to have big traps. Not pretty. This is me. Front. Side.
finally, you get to see me do some other upper body workouts. Chest exercises are honestly not my strongest suit. Hence, the weights are pretty low. But then again, I'm, I'm not really going for heavy weights because once again, you always want to focus on mind-muscle connection. This is paired together with chin-ups, assisted chin-ups. I'm just waiting for the day that I'm able to do these without any assistance. But with the tempo that I've been given by Ben, ah, no, I definitely need assistance because there's actually a pause at the top. That pause at the top and that slow tempo going down, it really kills the lats. And I'm very pleased that my lats have gotten a lot stronger in the past eight months. I want to test myself and see if I can do more than seven chin-ups and pull-ups this year. Before I start my workout, I want to show you this girl, okay? Yes, she is the mastermind some of the shots of late in the vlog. Shasha! Hi! And I'm so proud because she's going to be hosting a Zumba class later for the SEA Games. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be on my rest day today, but because I already had two days off, whack in squats again. Very happy because in 20 minutes, I was still able to do seven sets and I increased the weight. It went from 29 kg to 30 kg and 35 kg. And this, for anyone who's watching, is how you break plateaus. Either you reduce your rest time, you increase the weights, you reduce the tempo, but you gotta make some kind of change in your workout if you wanna see a difference in your body changing. Side note, I'm so happy. Do you see that line running up towards my glute area? Every time I see a new line, it means I'm getting leaner somewhere, so I'm very happy. Let me tell you why I will never eat butterfish ever again in my life. Have you ever heard of this thing called Kyria? I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it's shorter terms, it's called anal leakage. Yes, you heard me right. Let me tell you a little story, okay? So I bought butterfish because I want to try different kinds of fish to for my taste bud. I'm kind of tired of tilapia, dory, and salmon. I bought at least about a kg over of butterfish and because my macros I require to eat a lot of protein, I ate a lot of butterfish. And what happened was the next day, okay, I'm gonna get real with you. Went to the toilet and I just farted. And when I farted, okay, it was not noise. <laughs> it was not noise. It was, how my mama put it, a sunflower design on the toilet. Because it was oil, anal leakage happens when you eat too much butterfish. Or other than butterfish, white tuna, or even escalar. In fact, the reason why you would get this problem is because the fish itself has a problem with digestion. They eat something which is like, it's called wax ester, if I'm not mistaken. The fish has a problem digesting, so you, when you eat it, you have a problem digesting, and that means the fat will not be absorbed into your system. Mental note, never eat butterfish in Big amounts, like me. I don't even want to touch butterfish ever again. No. Ridiculous. 200 grams is 44 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat. Nonsense. Oh my gosh, my girlfriends are so noisy. Robin, what are you doing on the floor? Practicing your pose. In a dress? And do The random <laughs> things that us girls do when we're together. Oh yeah, since I met it, I might as well just tell you, I started a new channel with these two girls. It's called The Three Tootsies, touching on things that us girls don't always get to talk about in public. For example, relationship issues, sex stuff, food stuff, the disgusting things that happens to us girls. So yeah, come join the fun and the discussion, and hopefully we get to learn from each other. Three Tootsies. This is important. I'm going to show you what... I currently look like before I have my refeed and this is my first refeed after two weeks and six days to be honest I feel just a tad bit bloated at the arms area because I didn't really sleep so good last night but overall this looks quite promising this is what happens when you really watch your diet abs are popping. Can you imagine if, say, I watched it even more? 
Sundays are usually the day that I'll go to Vision Body for EMS, which is electrical muscle stimulation. I'm only using this for my bums and my abs. I don't really need it to enhance my arms. I may do it once in a while my back, but mostly for my abs and my bum. I'm so sorry that the video is burnt. I'll get a better footage next time. This is what you do when you want to spend time, but you also want to keep your macros. You just bring your own food. This is my beefy chicken buff meat while the family eats this. See, you make do with what you have. I am back home and I have recorded this at least five times. <laughs> this entire week has been a rediscovery about food. Let me tell you why, all right? Here is the major difference that uh, I'm handling food compared to my previous comp prep. For the past two weeks, six and a half days, I have had a very good nutrition plan. I have been maintaining 1,600 calories, whereby my carbs are 60 grams, my fat is 50 grams, and my protein is about 200 plus plus. I maintained that nutrition plan for about 21 days. And today, I finally had my refeed, where my coach said, okay, your refeed now is 120 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat, and your protein is about the same. Now, the difference with this is in my previous comp, I had cheat meals, but this is a refeed. And this is where I want to explain to you the difference between a refeed and a cheat meal. A cheat meal is where you gorge yourself with everything that is possible under the sun because you haven't had it for a while. A refeed is where the macros are up slightly after being maintained for quite some time. In this sense, it was my carbs. The refeeds are more calculated and it helps better, especially if you're doing a IIFYM, which stands for if it fits your macros nutrition plan, which is pretty much what I'm on. Flexible dieting and I honestly love it. When you maintain your food intake, for a certain period of time, of course your body is going to adapt. And introducing a refeed, that means a change in your macros, it will increase the leptin levels. Yes, I'm reading. Leptin is the satiety hormone in your body, which is made from adipose fat cells that will help reduce hunger and regulate energy balance in the human body. You can go and read this online. Look at this way. The refeed is used to boost up your leptin levels, which will then increase your metabolism while you're on a nutrition plan, and this will help your fat loss. This is where it's a huge difference between the cheat meal. The cheat meal when I mentioned, you can gorge yourself to the sun comes home. If you're really serious, the cheat meal or cheat day or whatever you want to call it, um, may not work to your advantage, especially in this sense where I am trying to really cut fat as much as possible. So we're going to be very specific with my nutrition plan. This method allows me and my coach to understand how my body reacts better to either carbs or fat. Because the last time we weren't sure what would help my body pump up for the comp. I should go on a high GI food plan the night before or should it be more fat? So now we are experimenting with that to see how my body reacts. I know for a fact that early on today when I had like rice cakes, my veins started popping up a lot. I didn't get to eat my donut or my chicken floss bun, but that's okay because I calculated everything to fit my macros and in doing so, I don't feel bloated. A cheat, however, I could end up getting really bloated and my gut health would compensate because of that one bad meal. In conclusion, a refeed will have probably better effects for you if you're serious with your nutrition plan and you want to see better results in your body. Cheat meals are great, don't get me wrong, but um, it can go either way because you just end up eating a lot and that's what I did the last time. So I hope you kind of understand what uh, the difference is between a refeed and a cheat meal. Okay guys, now before I end the vlog, I just want to reiterate one more time because a couple of times this week, I went, oh my gosh, why am I doing this again to myself? And I remember my whys. My whys is because I want to inspire the people who I love and I'm hoping to inspire those who think that's impossible to do things that they want in life. God's given me a capable body and I think it's my responsibility to improve this as much as I can. Mind, body, and 
So I have about nine weeks left and that's why it's really important to know what kind of food works for my body training i just need to maintain it thank you once again and if you found this video helpful you learned something from it please give it a thumbs up if there's anything else that you would like for me to share with you do let me know in the comments below find me on instagram snapchat twitter and facebook and do subscribe to my channel till then have a wonderful week ahead and may the gains be forever in your favor <laughs>